So getting back to the dashboard, uh, like we said, this is where uh, you're gonna spend most of your time when you're in sales mode. Um, what's cool about uh, this screen is that all of your new leads come into the system automatically. So as part of the setup process, we um, help you integrate your email um, through the system. And, and ideally you'd uh, integrate your personal email and then you'd also integrate the email uh, where your leads are going to uh, for your company. Uh, if you do that, then all of your leads, no matter where they're coming from, are gonna import directly to your dashboard. You won't have to do any copying and pasting. Uh, they're just gonna come into the system automatically. So for instance, Tim, he uh, sent an RFQ through Machinio. Uh, we match up to Tim's contact record. He's already marked as an end user in our system. If Tim was not already in our database, we would add a new record for Tim. So you don't have to do any data entry to get Tim into your system. It'll automatically be there uh, when you come in, when that lead comes through. Um, it'll also match up to the machine that Tim inquired about automatically through the system. So um, here you know it came from Machinio. There's a message here, he's just looking for a price. He's an end user. Um, we've got some information about Tim if we want to um, see emails back and forth with Tim or quotes that we sent to Tim or any notes uh, that we have on Tim. It's all available here. We could click directly through to Tim's record and we know uh, what machine he's inquiring about. So all we have to do to send out a quote, hit send quote, Tim's information is already here. All this information populates from your default settings um, and the machine uh, that Tim inquired about is already matched up in the system. And then a default message that you, that you set up in your settings is already here for you to send out the quote. So uh, technically to, to respond to his request, all you need to do is hit send quote and it's ready to go. So we had six leads, now we have five. Um, on this one, it came from surplus record. We'll spend a bit more time on this one so that we can look at some of those options that were available on the send quote screen. It came from surplus record. Um, we're in the market. Um, what do you have? Um, Jeff's contact info and uh, this machine. His user type hasn't been selected, um, so we could do that now. Uh, Jeff is an end user and we hit send quote. Um, so we ran through it uh, quickly before and uh, this time we'll spend a bit more time. If you wanna send a CC, so maybe you know Jeff um, and you know other people at his company and you know if you're sending uh, an email to Jeff, you'll send uh, an email to somebody else. You could add a CC. Um, additionally, maybe you wanna BCC somebody in your own company um, that you're sending out uh, this uh, quote and you can add in a BCC um, just by clicking the button. You can send a BCC to yourself. You can attach or not attach a PDF. Um, and this is also a default setting um, in your personal settings. And then if you wanna preview before you send out the quote to see what it looks like, uh, that's available to you here. Your company logo, your company info, who the quote is intended for, the default message that you had set up, information about the machine, images, the price, and then your terms and conditions um, that you load in your system settings. Um, if you're comfortable with the way that looks, you don't have to do that every time, but if you just wanna see how something's looking, you can do that. Um, if you uh, know uh, that if, if somebody inquired about this machine, you have another similar machine, uh, and you just wanna um, add additional item to that quote, all you have to do is start typing just like the top search bar, you can search uh, any of those parameters here and you can add in additional machines. Um, let's say you're quoting a dealer and you need to add an additional um, message, uh, for instance, less 10% dealer discount. You can do that so you could edit this message in any way. And then we also have a quote editor. So if you wanna edit the email that's sent out or the PDF attachments, um, if you have this box check that are set to go out, uh, you could edit all of that in the quote editor uh, before you send it out. And then you send out the quote.